so the problem is there, and uh, what because this is a nanotechnology, uh, nanomedicine, so I think you know, I, I, I want to people pay attention to this, and because um, I, I want to find a, a way if we can re resolve this issue, so uh, I hope you know the technology will help you know, us in the future improve it. So this is just some example. I think uh, the technology already has some impacts on the wound healing side. Uh, uh, this is just some example on the shoe side, but I, I hope you know, there's more coming in the future. Um, so the skin regeneration is very quick, very, very critical. Okay? So it depends on the biomaterial and um, also the stem cells. And uh, while the product I, I just showed you, the CEA, there's a huge problem with how this is. So in the past years, and uh, some Japanese scholars that uh, already developed the technology, which uh, is a thermal responsive surface, which can be used for growth cells and uh, for harvesting. So instead of treating the cells with the enzyme, we can actually change the temperature and harvest <coughs> the cells. So this is what I, I would like to, you know, to, to find out from this conference. So in future, maybe some collaboration can be generated and uh, so we can develop technology similar like this and which would be really helpful to us. Um, and uh, this is another scaffold of artificial skin we generate using nanotechnology. So on top is electrospun surface and it combined with porous uh, structure. So it can be used for temporary recovery or immediate recovery <coughs> or it can be used for regeneration because skin cells can actually grow into it to 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 depose the proteins that have the cell to migrate. Um, this is a study actually being published already by uh, a group in Ohio, Cincinnati. You know. um, so they actually compa uh, compa uh, compared and, uh, uh, two different structures. So this is electrospar, this is traditional porous scaffold. And if we use porous scaffold, they found actually the scaffold actually being replaced a lot thicker and uh, a lot easier. I mean, the, the cell epidermis actually differentiates much better. So, by using the nanotechnology, smart surface, smart material, so we actually can create something maybe better for the patients. And uh, not just for skin regeneration, and uh, for wound care, actually, that's another big issue when we come to uh, when, when we wound care. The infection issue. So infection is really a big <coughs> issue in wound care. So in the last years, I want to show you an example. Actually, using nanotechnology, people actually create a dressing <coughs> has been used widely worldwide to combat uh, uh, the bacterial infection. So <coughs> this is uh, the wound with the infection. Uh, so uh, you can see this is a uh, SCAR actually we collected from the patients. It's full of bacteria actually it forms the biofilm and uh, some of the bacteria actually can produce toxin and uh, then inhibit, impair the, the wound healing. So it is really important if we can control the bacterial infection in the wound. And uh, this is a case of this little kid of patients. So infection is very common in, in Burma. We just want to show you this. And uh, like ask a couple of questions about your technique. Yeah. When you take a person's skin and you culture it for six weeks, yeah. how much cell expansion occurs during that time? Expansion uh, so it takes about a week to get in confluence and then after that so we start to expand. So it takes about two to three maybe. Well, after six weeks, it's doubled or tripled in size. So yeah. Same. Yeah. But my second question relates to, unrelated to that is when you transplant the tissue, whether you use um, intra 
make the germ or whatever you're using, what reaction occurs in vivo? I mean, you know, let's say they're biodegradable, <coughs> as I read your abstract. Yes, yeah. So there's got to be some reaction. So what, what re inflammatory response occurs? We have really noticed any really. It has been used for many years by different units around the world, so we haven't really noticed any reaction. And uh, I have to say, it's not working. I mean, with the cultured cell, not everyone gets it working. But uh, we do so it working, maybe by luck or by, you know, but uh, it works beautifully in our units. Uh, but we haven't really noticed uh, the information problem. Well, it's be biodegradable. There's got to be foreign body giant cells, and that's a, a, a body reaction. So, can I ask of all the scaffolds that you're using, which is the one that you prefer? Uh, 